Okay, in this video we are going to be looking at the third and final type of graph transformation and that is stretching. And we're going to be looking at stretching in the x direction and stretching in the y direction. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a base equation from which we are going to come up with our concepts. And we're going to be looking at y equals x squared plus 1. So I'm just going to make sure we know what this graph looks like. y equals x squared plus 1 looks like y equals x squared, but is 1 up from the y-axis, or from the x-axis, sorry. Okay? So this is what y equals x squared plus 1 looks like. So, what I want to do is I want to investigate uh, what certain things will do uh, if I change x to example uh, 2x. What difference will that make to the curve? So, if I now replace the x with 2x, I get y equals 2x squared plus 1. So, if I multiply that out, that's 4x squared plus 1. So let's see what that looks like. Well, if we have our original curve, then y equals 4x plus x squared plus 1 will look something like this. It'll still go through 1, but it will be tighter, effectively, okay? So the graph will have been pulled inwards. And so, that replacement of x with 2x has had an effect on the curve. It has had the effect of stretching it inwards. It's still called a stretch, even though it seems like a squeeze, okay? But it's still called a stretch. So it stretches inwards. So, how about if I look at y equals, um, well, I'm going to keep with the same equation, but then I'm going to change, instead of replacing x with 2x, I'm going to replace x with a half x. So if I replace x with a half x, I have y equals a half x squared plus 1. So if I multiply that out, we now have 1 quarter x squared plus 1. So... If now I try and sketch this, I'm going to stretch, sketch the original. Not so good that time, but there we are. Then a quarter x squared plus 1 is actually, it has opened the graph up. And it will look something like this. It will still go through 1, as that graph did on the y-axis, but it has stretched the graph out in the x-direction. And so, what we can see from this is that this process has stretched in the x-direction by a factor, well, that's the interesting part here. The fact that we can see that both of these are stretches in the x direction, but it's the factor that is interesting because I replaced x with 2x here and it got thinner. And if I replace the x with a half x here, it got wider. Okay, so what's happened is that this is by a factor of one half because if you tried, um, if you looked at x is 1, for example, if you just chose a point and went, right, x is 1, then the y value would be 2. So that point is 1, 2. If you do the same for our new curves, so we have 1, then if I substitute in 1, I get 4 lots of 1, which is 4, plus 1 is 5. So in actual fact, those points have been pulled inwards, okay? Whereas I would have got here beforehand. So it has been pulled inwards. 
So, so the stretch by extraction factor one half in this case, and a stretch extraction by factor of two in this case. So it has doubled in either direction. So in general, what we want to say is that in order to stretch in the x direction by factor of k, I get that, then we replace x, well, what you can see is that we replaced x with 2x in the case of factor of a half, we replaced x with a half x in the case of factor of 2, so it must be 1 over the number that we're looking at, so 1 over kx, so it is the opposite way round. So if you want to stretch a graph by a factor of 3, then you would replace x with one third x. So an example of that would be, well, let's say we had stretch uh, y is equal to, um, well, let's say 2x plus 5x squared, and I wanted to stretch this graph by a factor of 3, then I would replace the x's with one third x. So that this is the new equation. So I've got 5 ninths x squared. So this is that graph, but stretched in the x direction by a factor of 3. So that's how we can deal with this process. Right, now let's have a look at the y direction. I'm going to keep with the same curve, so that... Um, whew, right, let's think about this. Um, Let's see what happens when I replace y with 2y. Okay, so initially I replaced x with 2x. This time I'm going to replace y with 2y. So 2y equals x squared plus 1. Now if I divide everything by 2, I get y is a half x squared plus 1 half. So let's see if we can sketch this. So here is my original curve. So that now, a half x squared plus a half, it'll be going through one half on the um, y-axis, okay? But, um, what will happen is that my curve will be further out as well, because you've got the half in front of the x squared. So what's happening here is that the curve is being pulled downwards, okay? So this is kind of like the squeeze in the first instance. So although it's still, it looks like a squeeze pulling down towards the x-axis, okay? Because it is from the x-axis pulling the graph down, the, uh, it's still called a stretch. And in this case, it would be a stretch in the y direction of factor one half, okay? So it's pulling it down. Now if I replaced y this time with one half y in my original curve, then multiply everything by two and I get y is two x squared plus two. So the original curve looks like that, so that now my new curve will go through 2 rather than 1 on the y-axis and will be thinner as well. And so this time the curve has been pulled upwards. And it's always from that x-axis, pulling the graph upwards in this case. So this is a stretch in the y-direction 
factor 2. Okay, so we can see that once again, we replace with 2y, it's a factor of a half. We replace with 1 half y, it's a factor of 2. So if we stretch in the y direction by a factor of k, then we replace the y with 1 over ky. Okay, so it's exactly the same process, but in this case we're looking at the y's rather than the x's. Okay, so that is stretching in a nutshell.